Shana Tova, I hope you are off to a great start to the new year. Rosh Hashanah is that initial kickoff, that launch pad to make, to take on changes and say that we want to be different in the year ahead. That we have 10 days of awe where we say, I'm sorry, we say Slichot, we prepare for Yom Kippur and we get ready to actually show that the changes that we said and promised that we'll take on in Rosh Hashanah are actually going to be who we are. Then we reach the level of Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is that culmination of those 10 days. And here we have the opportunity to show that we want to be who we said we want to be on Rosh Hashanah. Now, it is said that we on Yom Kippur reach the level of the angels. What does it mean to be at the level of angels, though? What are angels? So the way I like to see it is that there's two sides to existence of animals. There's the physical animals that we get to know and interact with all the time. These are dogs, these are cats, these are bears, lions, deer, etc. These are the physical animals that live according to their instinct. When they're hungry, they eat. When they're tired, they sleep. And so on and so forth. They live on instinct. They're not making free will choices like, ooh, well, the grass over there is a little bit greener. Let me eat over there. When they see grass, they eat grass. That's the animal existence. On the flip side of it is the spiritual existence. The angels live in the spiritual reality where they act according to nothing other than God's desire for them. They fulfill the will of God in whatever way that means for an angel to do uh, without any kind of physical desires. They don't go to the bathroom. They don't do what we do. And then there's angels right in the middle of the two types of animals in the world. We as human beings have the opportunity to bring down the spiritual because inside of us is a pure neshama, a pure soul that is connected and not only connected, but it is part of Hashem. But we are in a physical body that has to remember to go to the bathroom, to go eat when we're hungry and to do what physical beings need to do. Inherently though, that also leads us to get caught up in the physicality of sometimes chasing after physical needs and more, more unfortunately is physical wants, which means working and losing sight of our ultimate purpose of why we're here. But we're placed in the world with this ability to choose and act from the spiritual side or from the physical side. And that means that we get to bring the spiritual down to the physical and the physical we get to elevate to the level of the spiritual. Only humans get to do that. That's what it means to be a partner of creation. But on Yom Kippur, we say, I don't want to be that physical side of me. Of course, we still go to the bathroom, but we don't eat. And we don't take part in a few other very physical activities. We don't shower. We shower in prepare, preparation, but not on the holiday. Because on Yom Kippur, even though these are physical things that we need and we're still human beings, we also get to be human beings. We get to be and connect and just completely plug in to that spiritual side, the level of the angels. That's what we get to do. And that's what we get to experience on Yom Kippur through a very long day of praying. But that praying and not eating gets us to a point a level that prepares us and fuels us for the rest of the year. So Shana Tova, Gamar Chasima Tova, I hope you're sealed in the book of good life with a great year ahead and the ability to take on and be everyone who you want to be. Shana Tova, and again, Gamar Chasima Tova, have a meaningful Yom Kippur and fast.